Right guys, it's a new day, we're still in Paris, and after yesterday's rain fiasco, as long as it doesn't rain today, I am determined to make the best Paris vlog I could possibly make. So, we've just been back to the same bakery we went to yesterday, we got six of those little chouquette things that we loved, I got like an almond and chocolate like croissant, like a Paris chocolate with almond, Alan got a brioche, and it was only four euros, such a good price for all of that. So now we're just gonna make our way to our first tourist destination. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Oh, it's kind of loud there. It looks like it was just raining and we missed it. So cross your fingers, it doesn't rain anymore. which is the area of Notre Dame. Growing up, Notre Dame was my favorite Disney movie. And unlike most little girls, I wanted to be Quasimodo rather than Esmeralda. My mom always reminds me of that. <laughs> my croissant guys oh it does look good oh yes oh yes it does Alan is your brioche good hmm let's have a look oh that does look good okay we're heading up okay guys we're heading up to the top and it stairs the whole way look at this that's the stairway just goes round and round and round so after walking up those steps we're now in like a waiting area where you buy the tickets it's so beautiful in here look at the detail like look at the ceiling so it costs 10 euros to get to the top it's going to be a really good view okay we're back on the windy steps heading up Ooh, working off my croissant. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was tough. Worth it for that view though. That's the Eiffel Tower. Need to get to the side, we have to go through this gap. See, sideways shuffling. Uh -oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Merci. Wow. That is good. Look at this. highly recommend coming up here guys it's 10 euros and personally I think it trumps the Eiffel Tower I mean you get to see so much look that's one of the towers that has the bells in I think the side we're standing on now has the bell Emmanuel and it's up there and when the bells ring when you're up here it like shakes through you so loud that one's trying to fit through I squeeze. It is, yeah. This really is a tight squeeze. I've got too many shopping bags for this. Thank you. That is a pretty down view. That is a pretty good view especially the fact you can see the Eiffel Tower like the Eiffel Tower is good to go up if you've never done it before but I think I'm enjoying this more it's just a lot more peaceful up here 
Okay, yeah, we have the option to go up or down. Alan really needs to mind his head. Oh my gosh, look at these stairs. So steep. Look at that view. Ooh. Oh, these stairs were not made for claustrophobic. Look how narrow this is. Oh my gosh, that was worth it. Wow, this is like a full panoramic view to walk around at the top of one of the towers. Look at this. So we were down there and we walked all the way up. Well. Yeah. Okay, we made it to the bottom. Alan loved it and ran ahead, and my legs are like jelly. Oh, I kept thinking I was gonna fall the whole way down because you get a bit dizzy, but it's good to be like on solid ground again. I think now we're gonna head inside and see what it's like on the inside. I've been in the inside before, have you, Alan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just not for a really long time. So yeah, let's go on in. atmosphere in there is like really calming and don't worry guys I only filmed in areas where you can film all through the middle of Notre Dame um, you're not allowed to take pictures but if you're on the outsides you are so that's all okay now we're gonna head for some lunch at Galerie Lafayette um, we ate in there last year um, just because we're gonna be in an area we're gonna eat there um, if we come to Paris next year which we probably will, we seem to come every year lately um, then I'll do a more in-depth thing of where to eat but we really do like this place in Galerie Lafayette it's like a, I guess it's like Asian, Japanese or is it Korean, Alan? Um, Japanese? Thai? Thai? We're not doing very well but we're heading there now So I'm not sure what happened whilst we're in there we've literally just come out and the whole courtyard is um, taped off with police tape armed policemen all around, police cars um, so now they've closed that front entrance and you have to go through the side not sure what happened, we'll have to look on the news when we get internet maybe it's just precautions or someone's coming, we're not sure really but yeah this whole area in the middle where we were standing when we arrived it's just empty and police tape the whole way around it oh, I love these little waterfront um, shops they're so Parisian so along one of the um, like little canal um, like markets, they usually have books and things like that. They have these really cool posters. I think before me and Alan move out, we're going to have to come back and get some. Look at this. Hold on. How cool that is. I actually think my cousin got me something similar to that quite a few years ago for Christmas. I think it's um, in a drawer under my bed. I really need to search for it. It would be really cool to get out. And then look, there's another one there. So I think these would be really cool like framed when we have our own house, even like as a filming background. We've arrived to Yume, which is in Galerie Lafayette. Um, if you guys are doing a lot of shopping in the area, I really like it here. Um, this area is quite touristy I guess so 
I mean, it's not French food, if you want French food. Um, I'm not really sure where to go because we don't, we haven't really explored that side of Paris much. We must do that next time though. But yeah, I really like Hume. If you like dim sum, Japanese food, all that kind of stuff, it's delicious. Okay, I've kind of half demolished mine. I got red Thai curry, Alan got pork with noodles. We got some dumplings and some spring rolls. Oh, it's so delicious. We ordered differently than last time. Really good. Are you enjoying yours, Alan? Yeah. Oh, this was like after going up and down 400 steps. Up four ste 400 steps, down 400 steps. This is what you need. So if you guys did watch my vlogs from last winter in Paris, there was a huge tree here. And this year it's like a paper tree with a little carousel. Very right above Chanel. Okay, we had a lovely lunch. Now it's time to get the hot chocolate. You just have to do this like 10 times because it's the best. We saw someone order that dome thing yesterday. They give you like hot lint hot chocolate. Not hot chocolate, like hot lint chocolate melted. Just pour over the top. Looks so good. Oh my goodness me. You can throw it. So I got it with cream. That is very Instagrammable. So Alan. How would you rate your chocochino? Chocochino is very nice. Yeah? The chocolate does help. Would you rather chocochino or the milk chocolate hot chocolate? If someone was coming and they didn't know, chocochino or white chocolate, because you've tried that too, or the classic milk chocolate, which would you recommend? So I don't really like hot chocolate that much, but the hot chocolate, the milk hot chocolate is amazing. It's incredible. Yeah. Oh, good. So chocochino is nice. Yeah. If you like a coffee, chocochino is really nice because the milk and the hot chocolate kind of like balances it out. Mm. Um, but the milk hot chocolate is amazing, especially with cream as well. Oh, so good. Are you a bit jealous? The white chocolate I had, I was, I didn't really like. It was too sickly. Yeah. No, we didn't like white chocolate. No. But this one. It's amazing. It's really hot, so I've got a um, napkin around it. But good old lint. They need to open in London, it's so good. So that's the Grand Hotel. Isn't it stunning? Beautiful. Oh, it's an intercontinental. So maybe it was originally the Grand Hotel. Beautiful. I'm hoping we're going to walk past the Ritz in a bit, guys, so I can show you the Ritz because it's actually the first time. Like me and Alan have been five times to Paris. <coughs> in the last four years or five years four years five years can't remember now but it's the first time we've seen the ritz without scaffolding around it because they've been refurbishing it for a really long time so I, i'm hoping we're gonna walk past so i can show you guys the ritz so i feel incredibly sick too much and too little amount of time but the good news is that we're on rue cambon thank you for taking us this way alan you're very welcome so that means I can show you Chanel. So you don't have to go through the old videos. Although I would recommend doing that because um, we've been to different places in um, Paris today than we went to in the other vlogs. So I've got vlogs, Paris vlogs from last year. We came for the day in March. So if you want to see more of Paris, feel free. Um, yeah. Okay, so there's Chanel, famous Rue Cambon Chanel with armed policemen outside. Not sure why. Um, let's stop here, Alan. So yeah, that's 31 Rue Cambon, the most famous Chanel store in all of the land. If you buy something there, you get a white carry bag, which is really special. And upstairs is where the like ateliers are, where Coco lived, her apartment's up there. Sadly, it's not open to the public. Well, not really anyway. But there you have it. Let me see if I can get a shot of the stairs for you guys from here. You'll be able to see them. There you have it. Let me zoom in for you. I'm not going in today just because there's no need, we've done it before, but there are the stairs. Chanel. Let me check it. So something that always actually took me by surprise with the stairs is that they're quite narrow. I always assumed they would be a lot wider, but they're not. Okay, we've made it to Place Vendome, which is where Chanel spent the rest of her years. She didn't actually live in um, Rue Cambon. Um, she lived in the Ritz, which is that magnificent building right there. Look at all those Christmas trees. So grand. This is one of my favourite parts of Paris. Just because it really is so grand and so French. As you can see. But yeah, I'm really excited to be able to see the outside of the Ritz. Because for years it was just scaffolding. I'd love to go in there one day. 
So this area is also where Chanel's first fine jewellery store opened. It's just across the street there. There's loads of fine jewellery in this area. So yeah. Also there's more police around. There's like six or seven police outside the Ritz. Um, and someone's like got a speaker phone. I don't know if they're protesting. But it's all going on in Paris today apparently. Okay guys, so me and Alan are just sat outside pools. We were going to head to the Eiffel Tower, but we need to leave in like 45 minutes. So I think by the time we get there, we just have to turn around again. But we've seen it all before. As I said, if you want to see the Eiffel Tower or anything that you feel like I missed out, definitely check my other Paris vlogs because there's quite a few other things in, the, in those, especially the Eiffel Tower. Um, but I'm hoping you guys have enjoyed the last two days being in Paris with us. It's definitely a more casual travel trip for us just because we have been before. It was more of a low-key trip. Um, but I'm hoping you've enjoyed the travel vlogs this year. If you have, then let me know in the comments below. We're travelling a lot more next year and I'll definitely vlog those trips as well. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Have a great evening or day wherever you are and I'll see you tomorrow. Because I'm uploading every single day. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.